Hey guys, what's going on? Set5 here, and today I'm bringing you guys another NBA on NBC Showtime gameplay. This time I'm playing with the Cleveland Cavaliers because I, uh, you know, it relates to what I want to talk about today, which is the free agency, and kind of the main part is about LeBron choosing to go to the Cleveland Cavaliers. I don't know if it's official yet. I don't think they've actually worked out what the contract would be and all that, but he has said that he is, you know, uh, he has a verbally, I guess, agreed to um, go to the Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, and he's, you know, and the one thing about it uh, that I really want to talk about, and I'm going to be talking about the rest of the free agency also a little bit, but, you know, I want to mainly focus on this. So a lot of people are kind of frustrated at it, surprisingly, you know, that LeBron left the Miami Heat. And I'm not saying, you know, it's like, oh, are you stupid? It was obviously going to happen. Um, you know, but it was kind of a big thing that was going to happen that he was going back to Cleveland. And, uh, you know, like, he did post, like, an essay. I haven't even read it yet, but it kind of got the terms of what the, the whole thing was. And uh, I, thought I'd <laughs> I thought I'd like to explain a little bit about, uh, you know, what's going on with the Heat. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't think that uh, Miami is, uh, you know, or a lot of people think Miami would have been the better spot for him. But, uh, you know, and a lot of people are frustrated about that as well. They're like, oh, why didn't he come back to the Heat? All he did was win two championships here. Come on, you know, he owes us a lot more. That's what, essentially what a lot of people are saying is that, you know, he owes us a lot more and things like that. And he's really frustrated about, or not he, but the uh, fans. And, um, you know, that's what kind of irritates me a little bit is that, you know, I feel like most of those fans anyways are bandwagon fans, so they really have nothing to be mad about. They were ju they're just going to be fans of LeBron anyway, so just go to Cleveland where LeBron is if you're really going to be like that. Uh, and that's what I got to say about, you know, the fans that uh, were either, you know, if you're a LeBron fan and you admit to being a LeBron fan, I understand that. But if you say you're a Cleveland Cavalier, if you say you're a Heat fan after LeBron went there and then you're a Cleveland Cavalier fan after LeBron went back, and, you know, things like that. Like, you're saying you're a fan of the team because of that player. Just be honest and say you're a fan of that player. Not, don't be a fan of the team because that's just, you know, that, that's just wrong in terms of, uh, you know, being a fan of a team. Now, I really, I, it really irritates me when I, um, you know, you know, I hear stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, uh, like I said, a lot of people have been frustrated about it. And, uh, you know, people don't realize that he brought the heat to the finals every single year. Um, and, you know, he won two titles there. You know, he brought you guys two titles, and you're going to be mad about it. I just don't know. You know, with Cleveland, it was a different story when they were burning his jerseys and all that because he, you know, he was born there. That was his hometown. Not, you know, Cleveland, obviously, but, you know, Ohio, or his home state anyways. And, you know, he's, you know, going to leave and do all this. That's what the frustrating thing was for them. That's why they were, you know, doing all this. That's why they were so upset. The Miami Heat, you know, they have really not much to be upset about. They're they're getting upset because, you know, uh, because their best player left and they have nobody else. However, just in recent news and about like 10, 15 minutes ago from uh, me recording this video, they just released, uh, recently announced that Chris Bosh has signed a max deal with the Heat. So, you know, now I'm thinking, where's Dwayne Wade going to go? Is he going to come back for a, a shorter contract or what's going to happen? Because, uh, you know, I don't, I'm wondering where he's going to go. The, he might go to the Chicago Bulls because he... Uh, because the Bulls do have interest, so that'll be interesting if Melo goes there as well, which he uh, just ruled out the Lakers as a contender for uh, him going there, so right now it's the Knicks and the Bulls, so if Melo and Dwayne Wade both go to the Bulls, that's going to be a pretty interesting combination. I feel that uh, Jimmy Butler might come off the bench unless Dwayne Wade's willing, because that's the only thing I, I, I see is that... Uh, you know, Dwayne, I think Dwayne Wade should play the bench. That's probably uh, the best thing to do is to have him come off the bench because he's just older. Um, but, you know, if uh, you know if he's going to be frustrated that he's not starting, then I feel like they probably should start him over Jimmy Butler just because he has more veteran experience and championship experience. But that that's just the, that's the kind of big deal about it is that, you know, now the Heat do get Chris Bosh back, which is all right. Um, you know, Dwayne Wade, I don't know if they'll get him back. We'll see what that what happens with that. That's what a lot of people thought. They thought Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade were going to sign back to the Heat, and LeBron was either going to sign back as well so they could pick up a better player, do something like that, uh, or take pay cuts to get, like, Melo, or he's just going to go back to Cleveland, and just uh, essentially it's going to be um, the Heat with Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, some other random players that they pick up if they don't, because I'm pretty sure a lot of the free agents are gone, uh, or, like, they have a lot of free agents uh, on their team this year, so... That's that was the big issue there, and uh, you know, like I said, a lot of people got frustrated. There's really no need to be. You guys, if you guys were real fans, I think you know that's that's the hard thing. You know, you it's hard to figure out is this person a real Heat fan or just a bandwagon fan. So, um, unless you've known them personally, but if I saw a Heat fan right now, I don't know whether to say they're a bandwagon fan or not. 
uh, because you know certain situations. And even uh, then, like if they were a Heat fan before LeBron went, you know, are you, were you a Heat fan before they won the championship the first time with Dwayne Wade and Shaq? Um, you know, so that's the things that kind of run through my head thinking about it. But you know, mostly I feel like that's how you can kind of differ to know whether you're a bandwagon, uh, bandwagon fan or not. Is that you know you're getting mad over a, such a small thing? You know, LeBron left, but you're so frustrated about it that you know your best player left. He came from a uh, from a, another team, you know, and so so he hurt them. Like you guys. Uh, really weren't in the same position to feel as frustrated. I understand. It's like same thing like if uh, Monte Ellis left. Like he wasn't really a maverick like Dirk was. If Dirk left, that'd be a huge, huge thing because he, you know, he's the star of that team. He's a franchise player. He was on the team his entire career. Same thing with uh, – actually, never mind. I was about to say someone else. But anyways – that's the that's the big issue is that you know they are they're considering LeBron as if he was there for so long like Cleveland was a whole different story he was there for you know so much longer he was there for twice as long as he was on Miami and you know that's his hometown that's his home state and all that so a lot of people got frustrated about it but it's like hey you know you move on you've you've got to figure things out but you know you don't have I feel, honestly in my opinion you uh, the Heat fans don't have as much right to be as frustrated about losing LeBron as the Cavaliers did like they're taking it even farther like they lost you know something so valuable but uh, and I understand that but they're kind of t it's like a, to an extent there's uh, a point where you can be frustrated to an extent but they kind of take it really really far um, so yeah, anyways, going to the rest of the free agency, uh, really quickly through it. Like I said, you know, Bosch went to uh, the Heat, so the Rockets are not getting him. Uh, but they did, I believe, they're uh, signing Chandler Parsons' uh, restricted offer sheet that the Mavericks gave him, which was a three-year, forty-five million dollar contract. So if I think if the Rockets do that, they actually won't have cap space because what they were gonna do was try and take Bosch uh, with their cap space and then take uh, Chandler Parsons through uh, bird rights. So. That's the big issue of, uh, you know, what's going to happen with that is, is uh, you know, the Rocks going to be able to pick up any players or what? Because I feel like even with taking Chandler Parsons, they're still going to be in a really bad position with salary cap for the next couple of years um, with during the free agency. Like, they're not going to be able to get uh, try and attack any of the good free agents unless they do sign and trades and things like that. So it depends on the situation and, uh, you know. Uh, it's gonna be, uh, alright, I can't wait to see what happens. Also, you guys know that Isaiah Thomas and, uh, Luol Deng are also in the free agency, and Trevor Reza, so there's a lot of good players that not a lot of people knew about, but yeah, they're going to the free agency, so it's gonna be interesting to see where they go. My Mavs are trying to get Luol Deng and, uh, Isaiah Thomas, so hopefully we can get them, that's gonna be really interesting. Uh, let me know what you guys think about your teams right now, how they're doing with their free agency. What do you guys think about the whole LeBron situation? Do you guys agree with it or not? You know, I, I wonder what you guys have, um, and, you know, as your thoughts about it. So just let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe. And also follow me on Twitter for up-to-date information on what's going on with my channel and things like that. And also there's going to be a link on the screen right now for my previous video. You guys can go check that out. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. It was just a little iffy. Uh, but these coins that I actually bought were supposed to be for uh, these new packs that came out. They were like out for